Hi, today we're going to be covering base m in middle equations. Base m is one of the videos that was very highly requested by people and today it's going to be covered. In middle equations, two completely new variations are introduced, which are base m and multiple of k. We're going to cover multiple of k in a different video because base m takes up a lot of time to teach, but that will be coming soon. So when you call base m, you're not actually saying base m. You're saying base and a number. That number can be 8, 9, or 10. So there's three options when you're using base. Regularly, we use 10 as our base in our arithmetic. We use base 10. We go from a system of 0 to 9, and that's the foundation of all of our numbers. Think about all of our numbers, any number. Think of it. It has, no, it has digits 0 through 9 in it. If we're using different bases like base 8 or base 9, we're going to have a different foundation of numbers. For example, in base 8, we only go from 0 to 7. We do not use 8 or 9. So in base m, for base 8, you're only going to be allowed to use digits 0 through 7. For base 9, it's 0 through 8. And for base 10, it's 0 through 9. So it's basically just you have to use digits lower than the value of m. So if base m is chosen as base 8, for example, if you cannot include an 8 or a 9 in the goal, if you see an 8 or a 9 in the goal, the, like the numbers, the cubes, then call impossible. If you see an 8 or a 9 in a solution, that's, that solution is incorrect. And if you see an 8 or a 9 in required, challenge impossible because 8 and 9 are not a part of the foundation of base 8. Remember, it's only 0 through 7. There's no 8 or 9. If you want to include 8 or 9, you're going to have to use a different numbers. And we'll speak about that later but there is no digits that are eight or nine in base eight. For base nine, it's the same thing, except you can't only use nine. You can use eight in base nine because it's lower than the value of m. So we're gonna discuss converting from base m to base 10 because we in our math today use base m, base, base 10. And we need to be able to convert from base m to base 10 in order to create solutions. So when we're converting from base m, which is base 8, 9, or 10, to base 10, you're going to look at the numbers, at the numbers and split them up into the tenths place or like the eighth place or the ninth place, and then the ones place. So if we're looking at base 10, that's what we regularly use. 63, the 6 is in the tenths place, the 3 is in the ones place. So we take 6 and we multiply that by 10, we get 60. And then we add that to 3 times 1 because it's in the 1's place and we get 63. If we're in base 8, however, we only go from a system of 0 to 7. So the 8's place is technically base 8. So that 6 is no longer in the 10's place. We're not in base 10. We're in base 8. So we're going to do 6 times 8 instead, which is 48. And we're going to add 3 times 1 because one's in the, three, the three's in the 1's place. And then we get 48 plus 3 is 51, and that's our value converted into base 10. So 63 is actually 51 when you convert it to base 10. In base 9, you do the same thing except we're in the 9th place, not the 10th place. So that 6 is going to be multiplied by 9 and then added to 3 times 1, so that's 54 plus 3 is 57. So that's how you convert from base m to base 10. So to explain how to convert from base 10 to base 8, I'm going to use this new doodle app to do that. I hope you guys can enjoy and learn from it. So when we go from 51 to a number in base 8, there's a special tactic that we use. We're going to take m and take our number and divide it by m. We're going to put that in a division box and take 51 and divide it by 8. So we're in base 8, so how many 8s go into 51? Well, we can say 6 without a remainder. So 48. So that 6 is actually the first part of our answer. You can write that in. And then 51 minus 48, you're left with a remainder of 3. Well, you might ask, well, what do we do with the remainder? Well, that's actually the second digit. So you can write that there. And that's how you convert. And we're in base 8. If you were in a different base, you'd have to use a different number that you divide by. There are six eights in 63, and there are three ones, so that's 63. So now we're gonna do an example converting from base 10 to base nine. So as we did before, 
we're going to take 20 and divide by m, which is 9. So how many 9s go into 20? Well, two complete 9s go into 20 without a remainder. So that 2 is... We have two nines, and we have two ones remaining since 22. That's our answer. Now we're going to discuss when you're writing a solution. So first, you always have to convert your goal to base 10. Then if your goal has any operations, you need to convert from base M to base 10, and then do the operations in base 10, and I'll show an example in a bit. And use digits less than M in your solution, and calculate the base 10 value of the goal. So you cannot use, like, for example, if we're talking about base 8, you can't use 8 or 9 in your solution. Remember that. And then when you're presenting, write the goal as you see it on the mat, like usual. Never, ever change the goal from what you see on the mat. Let's say that base 9 is called and the goal is 35 plus 7. First, you have to convert this goal into base 10. You might just say, oh, it's 42. Well, it's not. This 35 is in base 9. We have to convert that. So we take that and we take the three, the ninth place, and we do three times nine and then add five times one and we get 32. If the goal has any operations, now we have to do those operations and satisfy that. So we're gonna take that 32 and add seven to that from there and we get 39. We're not converting seven from anything because it's less than the value of M. And for your solution, use digits less than M. So we can do eight times five minus one. We can't do 39 because that has a 9 in it, and that's not allowed in base 9. So you write your solution like this. The solution, 8 times 5 minus 1, equals the value of the goal, which is that goal that you see on the map. Let's look at this goal. Base 8 is called the goal's 28. That's impossible because there's an 8, and we can't use 8 or 9 in base 8. So you would just call impossible if somebody set this goal. Let's say that base 8 is called the goal is to the power of 6. Since all the digits are less than m, we can just do the operation regularly. So 2 to the power of 6 is 64. And the 64 is, is in base 10. It's the base 10 value of the goal. So now for this solution, we use digits less than m to formulate a solution for this goal. So I'm going to think of the solution 7 times 7 plus parentheses, 5 times 3. 7 times 7 is 49, and then 5 times 3 is, 50, is 15. When we add them, we get 64, and then we write the solution. You can use two-digit numerals in your solution, but you need to be able to convert them to base m, because that's what the goal is in. So you need to be careful when using two digits. You can't just use them like you're using regular numbers, because you may have to convert them. Let's say we wanted to use two-digit numerals in our solution. We're going to use the same example as before. Goal is 35 plus 7, we have base 9 called. We determine that the goal is 39 by converting. Now, we want to formulate a solution that uses double digits. So, if you wanted to do 20 times 2 minus 1, which is 39, that's in base 10, so you're going to have to create it in a way that it's in base 9. So remember, if you want to convert 20 from base 10 to base 9 to put in your solution, I, we, I did that on the slide, before, on the example before, so that's 22, using that method that I did before. Now you're going to take that 22, it's, it's, ba it's basically 20 in base 10, so you're going to treat it like it's 20, and you're going to put that in a solution. 22 times 2 minus 1 is 35 plus 7. Remember, 35 plus 7 is 39 in base 10. 22 is 20 in base 10. 20 times 2 is 40, subtracting 1 is 39, so this goal would be correct. Solution. What's wrong with these solutions? Base 9 is called goal is 8 times 2. In this solution, 16 is a solution, but you have converted it incorrectly. It's not 16, you've got to convert it. Base nine, this is in base 9, not base 10. In base 9 it would be 15, so that would be incorrect. In this one, 9 plus 6, you can't use 9, that's not allowed in base 9, so that's automatically incorrect. And in this one, you'd have to convert that 10 from base 9, from, from base 9 into base 10. So you'd get 9 plus 5 once you convert it, and that's 14. So these are all incorrect. Be wary of these. They can happen, these mistakes. 
Now what's up with base 10? We have base 8, base 9, and base 10, but we normally use base 10, so it's just the same way we normally use numbers. Nothing different. The only thing you're allowed to use now is double digits, so I guess that's a perk. Thank you. I hope this video helped. I hope you guys learned how to use base M. Stay tuned for the multiple of K video that's also coming, and subscribe and turn on notifications to be the first to receive new content. Bye.